Alright, so hey guys, and welcome to the first updated weapon build video for 2019. So today we're going to take an updated look at one of my personal favorites, the Prisma Tetra. The Prisma Tetra is a mastery rank 4 rifle that can only be acquired via Baraketeer or by trading for it with other players that bought it from Baraketeer. It is a highly accurate, fully automatic primary rifle that fires projectiles, so it is not hit scanned, and you will have to lead the target, and it does 38 damage per shot. 30.4 out of which is puncture, and only 7.6 is impact, meaning that the weapon is not very effective versus flashier units like the infested due to the lack of slash. And even though it is slightly more effective versus shielded units, so the corpus and some of the corrupted, thanks to the small amount of impact the weapon comes with, it is still not great. So all in all, the Prisma Tetra is just a Garnier killer, which makes sense because, well, it's a corpus weapon. Now aside from the damage, the weapon comes with a 10% crit chance, which is very low, a standard 2 times crit multiplier, and a 24% status chance, which is actually quite good. It also comes with a fairly sizable 60 round magazine and a pretty swift reload of only 2 seconds, and it can fire up to 7.08 rounds per second, which gives the weapon a really nice rhythm. Now since the Prisma Tetra is a newbie weapon and you can get it fairly early on, the build progression I would recommend for it would be something like this. I would start off with just serration and split chamber and then some 90% elemental mods so you can get some damage out of it. Then as you progress through the game and you get some funkier mods, I would still stick to serration and split chamber for the damage, but I would add 3 dual stuff mods as well as vigilante armaments and this will allow you to start taking advantage of the high status the weapon comes with before finally investing some forma into the weapon if you like it enough of course which will allow you to put in shred for some fire rate and punch through as well as point strike which will give you 15% extra crit chance which will allow you to take advantage of the critical multiplier a little bit better. And then if you still want to invest into the weapon you can add an additional format and put in prime trend for more fire rate and more punch through before ultimately doing what I did and adding a final fifth format for a riven. So as I've said already, for the setup I'm currently running on the Prisma Tetra, you will need 5 Forma. In this case, it's 3 Vs, then a Dash, and then an additional Forma for the Riven, which in my case is a D. And the mods I'm running are Serration for damage, then we have Split Chamber for multi-shot, Prime Shred for the fire rate and punch through, which works fantastically for the Prisma Tetra, then we have Vigilante Armaments for additional multi-shot, then a Riven, in my case, Tetra Geliata for a lot of core damage, a crazy amount of flat damage, and unfortunately some negative flight speed, which is not that big of a deal because the bolts are pretty fast. Then I personally chose Point Strike to bump the crit chance up to 25%, before topping it off with Malignant Force and High Voltage for corrosive damage and status chance. The one thing you can do if you're not looking to min max your damage is to actually take out point strike and lose the 15% crit chance and replace it with kinetic ricochet which is a tetra specific mod that makes the projectiles bounce up to six times and makes them travel 30% further. This actually makes a pretty significant difference to the speed at which you clear missions, especially in some of the enclosed tau sets like Sedna and stuff like that, where you have corridors and smaller rooms. Now the final build is of course going to change a little bit based on the type of Riven that you get. I got a lot of code damage so I didn't want to change it into Blast by adding Thermite Rounds and I didn't want to add more code damage because then I would proc cold more than Corrosive, so I ended up going with Point Strike for the higher crit. Now as far as the performance is concerned, I am by the way using Point Strike in these Simulacrum clips, it's not too bad. Now it is no Tigris Prime, it's nowhere near Tigris Prime, but it's good enough, it will actually take you through sorties, though bear in mind that I am using a Riven, a pretty decent Riven, it's not an amazing Riven, but it's not bad either, so if you don't have a Riven, the damage is of course not going to be as good. But for what it is, you know, a fun primary rifle that you can buy at Mastery Rank 4 from Barrow, it is not too shabby. It's not gonna break any world records when it comes to DPS, but it does the job. So there we go, the Prisma Tetra, an almost four year old weapon, would you believe that? And it's still one of my favorites. I just love the way it feels. It has a nice and snappy reload. It has a pretty sizable magazine. The damage is not too shabby and the rhythm on the fire rate is just right. It's just a great weapon overall and I would really honestly recommend it to anyone because it's gonna take you through the star chart, fissure missions, nightmare missions and even early sorties if you're a newer player. And if you're an older player you can just have a bit of fun with it while you farm. Though there is one pretty obvious downside here and that is that if you don't like non-hit scan weapons this might not be for you because while the bolts are pretty fast you still have to lead the target especially at longer distances. Which also means that it is not an ideal weapon for open world content so the Plains of Eidolon and Fortuna where the enemies tend to be a little bit farther away from you. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of updated weapon builds for 2019. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comment sections down below so we can iron it out before the series properly starts. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.